Hello and welcome to NI's ADAS and AD Stories. My name is Daniel. I'm a solutions marketer here at NI focused on ADAS and autonomous driving validation tests. Today I have Jan with me, so welcome Jan. Hi. Nice to have you. Um, uh, could you introduce yourself real quick, please? Uh, hi, yeah, I'm Jan Göbel. I'm a technical support engineer from the NI office in Munich, and I'm working with uh, uh, automotive-related uh, topics at NI for about two years now. Nice. Um, so, Jan, um, when we're talking also about automotive, I'm just curious, like, okay, what's your favorite car manufacturer, actually? <laughs> it's really hard for me to pick one there, but if I would have to, I, I think I would say Chevrolet. Okay. And, and why is that in particular? Well, I, I always liked the Chevrolet Impala, which was like uh, the the like car of my dreams when I was a kid, let's say like that. <laughs> nice, very good. Um, so as we're talking also about ADAS and, and AD functionality, uh, what experience do you have yourself maybe riding a car with uh, ADAS functionality? Hmm. Yeah, so uh, living in Munich, I don't have my own car, uh, but driving with several company cars, I uh, experienced like uh, things like adaptive cruise control, um, uh -huh. being on the highway, just doing nothing, basically. Uh, quite comfortable, to be honest. <laughs> okay, let's switch gears a little bit. Jan, what are you currently working on? I'm currently working on an error injection demo for our FPGA-based camera hardware. And um, I'm demonstrating how to uh, inject different kinds of errors into a pixel stream that we are outputting with one of our devices. Okay, so that sounds definitely very interesting. So why is that in particular important for the automotive industry? Oh, well, this is very useful if you're testing your ECUs uh, for different camera detection algorithms, for example, and you can insert some error like adding some noise on the image and see if the uh, objects on the image are still detected properly. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we can uh, check if the, the algorithms still behave right, even if there's going to be errors coming in. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Cool. Um, so can, can you tell us a little bit more like how the system setup looks like for that? Yeah, sure. Um, basically, what we have is uh, our camera interface with an FPGA on it and a host computer. And we are reading a pre-recorded video file uh, from disk on the host computer and output it through the FPGA to the ECU. And on the FPGA, we inject the errors. And then also we reread the signal back in, send it to the host processor and display it on the UI so that we can get a comparison of the actual outputted image and the one with the errors that we are reading back. Nice, that definitely sounds cool. So um, what can we actually see now within the demo? Yeah, so if you're looking at the recording, you can see that uh, there's different kinds of errors you can inject into the camera stream. The first one is uh, just dropping some frames. So that's, I think, a usual use case. Uh, you will get like a more leggy image and can check if the algorithm can still handle that. The next one is um, we can corrupt some pixels, so just set them to a specified color um, as we want, starting from an index. Then we can also adjust the brightness of the whole image, which is uh, just a useful parameter to, to adjust. And we can add a Gaussian noise to the image and uh, yeah, really try to get the quality worse and worse, as I mentioned, to check if the algorithms can still handle that. Wow, really love what you have been, been doing there. So definitely we can see a lot of manipulation going on so that we can uh, test and at the end of the day, really make sure that the function is working uh, properly and with confidence can be built into our vehicles. So uh, thanks Jan for the quick demo and overview. Um, so for everybody else, uh, please uh, feel free to leave your comments uh, and uh, feedback uh, down below about this demonstration because we would love to hear back from you. Um, you can also ping me via uh, email or find me on LinkedIn if you want to have uh, follow-up discussions there. Thanks for watching and uh, uh, would love to see you next time on NI's ADAS and AD Stories.